And Russia and Ukraine are accusing each other of launching a new wave of drone attacks overnight. In the Odessa region, Ukraine says Russia has targeted more of its ports, this time along the Danube River. Officials say six people were wounded in the strikes, several storage tanks were damaged, and a grain hangar was destroyed. In Moscow, meantime, the Defense Ministry says it intercepted two drones in what is being called a terror attack. Uh, by Kyiv. This video, geolocated by CNN, appears to show one of the drones flying above the Russian capital. It happened as more attacks were reported in Crimea, where Russia says 17 Ukrainian drones were launched. CNN's class of uh, with more. Claire, what, what do we know about the, the Moscow drone attack? Yeah, we're looking at two locations. One very, very central, where the uh, state media news agency task reported in the morning that debris was found, the road was briefly closed. This was very close to the Russian Defense Ministry, really just about a 10 minute drive from the Kremlin. So, this, well, the whole incident, I think, is the fourth time we've seen Moscow targeted with drones. This is the most central location we've seen since that very first incident uh, when the Kremlin itself was actually hit. So, that's significant. The second location, uh, down in the southern part of the city, a non residential building sustaining some damage. Take a listen to one of the residents close by about what she heard. I was asleep and was woken up by an explosion. Everything started to shake. It felt like the whole building had come down. I looked out of the window. I live in the neighboring building on the side where there's less damage. And it felt strange. The damage was so minor. Well, okay, not minor. Any explosion is scary. But it sounded worse than it looked, as it seemed like the whole mall had exploded. After that, I looked online and saw the amount of damage from this side. And we came and had a look from here. So, obviously, this uh, no casualties, according to the mayor, no serious damage. But we are seeing separately in Crimea, as you were saying, the Russian Ministry of Defense is saying they averted 17 uh, drones. But the head of that region, the Russian head, is saying that an ammunition depot and a house were destroyed. They are apparently evacuating residents within a five kilometer radius. Uh, of that incident. Uh, and all of this comes, of course, after a week of Russian strikes on Odessa. Ukraine's digital transformation minister coming out and saying drones attacked, he calls the orc, that's what they call Russian's capital and Crimea last night. Electronic warfare, he says, and air defenses are becoming less and less capable of protecting the occupier's sky. So that's sort of the closest you're going to get, I think, to a claim. Yeah, it does sound that way. Um, more reported strikes on grain infrastructure overnight as well, this time on the Danube. This as a Putin claims that Russia can actually pick up in replacing uh, lost grain from the deal, obviously, that fell through. Yeah, I mean, I think what's significant about these overnight strikes is that, one, there seems to be a fair amount of damage. The pictures that are coming out are showing uh, destruction to grain terminals, things like that. Second is that this is not the Black Sea ports, right? This is the Danube ports. So the Danube ports are the plan B. So once the Black Sea ports are not possible to use to transport grain, then they turn to those Danube ports, which they started doing before the grain deal kicked in uh, last summer, which, of course, now will become more and more important. So that speaks to Russia uh, essentially trying to destroy that effort on top of the Black Sea ports and all of that coming, as you say, as Putin wrote this article, which was published by the Kremlin on Sunday, where he said, look, Russia can pick up where Ukrainian grain might have left off. Russia will be able to supply African countries uh, with the food they need, an attempt clearly to soften the blow uh, to these allies, which Russia has been cultivi cultivating since the beginning of the war, uh, and essentially trying to sort of soften the blow of the fact that cancelling that grain deal will have really threatened their, their food supply. Basically trying to play both sides yeah. in some ways. Claire, thank you. Well, the Euros Secretary of State says Ukraine has recaptured about half of the territory Russia seized at the start of the invasion. Antony Blinken told CNN that Russia has failed to erase Ukraine from the map and that Ukrainian troops are poised to take back even more land as their counteroffensive rides on. Now Ukraine is in a battle to get back uh, more of the land that Russia seized from them. It's already taken back about 50% of what was initially seized. Now they're in a very hard fight uh, to take back uh, to take back more. These are still relatively early days of the counteroffensive. It is tough. The Russians have put in place strong defenses, but uh, I'm convinced that with the equipment and support they've received now from more than 50 countries, with the training uh, that their forces have gotten, and many of the forces who've gotten that training have not yet been put fully into this fight, and maybe more than anything else, with the fact that unlike the Russians, the Ukrainians are fighting for their land for their future, for their country. Blinken also says Ukraine will likely receive US-made F-16 fighter jets, but it would take months before they're operational.